welcome to the video on how the payment process works on Amazon. On the home page of your Seller Central account, you will see a total balance card that displays a summary of your total balance across all the Amazon marketplaces that you sell in. Click on the drop down option to see your marketplace specific payment balance. To know more, hover over the reports tab and click on payments. The statement view is where you can check the current balance for both electronic transactions as well as COD transactions and non-transactional fee along with the sum of these balances under all accounts. You can see the recent payouts transferred to your account from here. From the account type drop down, you can view the summary of either electronic transactions or COD transactions and non-transactional fee. The current and previous settlement cycles can be seen from the settlement period drop down or searching details of an order number in the finder transaction field. On the bottom of the page, you can check the expected payment amount and the transfer date for the current payment cycle. This page will allow you to get a breakdown of that balance in an account through a graph that shows opening balance, sales, refunds, expenses and account level reserve. It is a normal part of selling on Amazon to see funds under account level reserve. Amazon keeps funds from an order in reserve for 7 days after the estimated delivery date or the actual delivery date, whichever is earlier, to ensure that you have enough funds in order to fulfill any refund requests from buyers. Once the funds from the said order crosses the 7 day reserve period, they are eligible to be disbursed to your bank account. Amazon usually disburses within 7 days where the system automatically initiates transfer of funds once every week. If you do not want to wait till the end of the payment cycle, you can initiate transfer of the funds available for disbursement by clicking on the request payment button. The amount shown here will be initiated for disbursement rather than what would be eligible if you waited until the end of the settlement period. This feature is free and can be availed once in 24 hours. The next payment date will be shifted to 7 days later by the system. However, if the fund available for disbursement is zero, the request payment option will not be available. Once the payment is initiated, transfers can take up to 5 working days to complete and reflect in your account. These payments are transferred directly into the bank account that you have specified under the account info section of your Seller Central account. If you ship products via providers that are integrated with Amazon.in, the system will automatically update the actual delivery date of these orders. As the actual delivery date is often sooner than the estimated delivery date, funds become available faster. In addition to this, you might also see funds in account level reserve. If your seller account is under review because of performance issues, open A to Z guarantee claims, or when the selling privileges are removed. The transaction view page displays the transactions within a given period. You can filter by different transaction types such as order payment, refund, easy ship charges, etc. and also customize date ranges to see data from previous time periods. To know more about the transaction, you can click on the total column on the right side of the transaction line. The resulting transaction details page will display product charges, sales proceeds, Amazon fees or any other charges associated with the transaction. The All Statements section displays information from previous settlement periods. Here you can see the beginning balance at the start of the settlement cycle, product charges, promo rebates, Amazon fees total and the final amount that was deposited in your bank account at the end of the settlement cycle. This also provides you the option to download all the transactions that occur in the settlement period. The disbursement report will provide the actual dates for scheduled payout, processing date, sent to bank and acknowledged by bank. You can also check the payment status and download the settlement reports of the previous cycles. The date range reports can be used to either generate a summary or a transaction level report within a specific date range. You can also request a combined report for electronic and COD transactions by selecting all followed by the preferred month or date to generate it. 
Once the report is requested, refresh the page to check the status. When made available, click on download. Lastly, the invoice history section includes the charges and credits on your account. It can take up to 24 hours for it to appear on an accumulating invoice. That wraps up our video on how payments work on Amazon. Thank you and happy selling.